Uh oh, oopsie doopsie. So it looks like Kay Burley, right? One of our premier pres presenters here in the UK, got herself in a bit of an oopsie on her 60th birthday party, right? Birthday parties during COVID have causing so many problems, and it's been the co it's been the scrooge of the elites, of the celebrities, of the public figures out there, and it this really, really fucking them over. So Kay Burley of Sky News decided to go on a bit of a bender for a 60th birthday party and unfortunately she happened to break some very basic covid rules now this wouldn't be a big problem with anybody else because again you know I, I, i'm quite forgiving with these things even though i hate birthdays myself i could give a shit about my own birthday give a shit about anyone else's birthday but i understand some people really hold birthdays up to a high esteem the ability to celebrate your special day with your close family and friends especially a day with and that ends in an odd number on even number oh people love those shits in it so i get it so 60th birthday young lady doing your thing during a covid year it's your only probably bit of relief and joy for this whole bit of time we're living in but unfortunately when you're k burley and you're lambasting politicians and elected officials and other people um on tv about how they deal and how they break the rules and skirt the things and one rule for you one rule for us all this sort of nonsense and then you get caught out doing the exact same thing you gotta take that L. You've gotta take that L and I would assume and I would say they'll stretch. I would kind of adopt the same Tim Dillon sort of point and mantra. If anybody in public office or if anybody in, you know, a, a public figure of some sort, if they are caught breaking the COVID rules, they should be fired from, from whatever gig they've got. Of course, if you're unfireable and you've got fucking money, then congratulations to you. But if you work a job or if you're an elected politician, you should resign or you should be fired those are the two things because that's the only way people are going to learn and understand that the rules are not different for you than they are from us right as average day civilians because at the moment it looks like if you're rita aura if you're Kay burley you can do whatever you want really under the covid rules and just write a little um i message or sorry iphone notes apology upload it on your instagram and then suddenly everyone sort of moved on but if you're general normal resident you're in a gym you're in a restaurant and you open it up against the rules you get fined an incredible amount you get shamed by your local community um you, you know it's just general nonsense that gets kind of you know you get kind of maybe um targeted by the police as we've seen with that guy that owned the gym who's kind of essentially arrested at a protest that he went to i think somewhere in central london it's not a real good place to be if you break the covid rules and you happen to be a civilian but if you're a celebrity you just get to time to kind of step away from the limelight reflect on your actions and then come back that's not on anyway continues k burley sky news presenter apologizes for covid breach um she says sky news presenter k burley has apologized for an error in judgment oh yeah right over the covid rules posting on twitter the journalist said that she had been celebrating her 60th birthday party in a covid compliant restaurant on saturday she later popped into another restaurant very new to use the toilet it's not clear that the rules have been broken for this action so i'm assuming with that one most likely because in the uk you can only actually well, you can only actually get a drink if you're eating something so i guess she went to another venue after the time that you're meant to go home probably ordered another drink with different groups of people outside of a bubble which obviously you're breaking the rules and then decided to go back to her house with the groups of friends that she went out with again breaking the rules so she can she continues here she says um um, on saturday night i enjoyed a 60th birthday party with a covid compliant restaurant i'm embarrassed to say that late in the evening i accidentally broke the rules i had been in a taxi i'd been waiting for a taxi at 11 p.m to get home this breath for a loo i briefly popped into another restaurant to spend a penny i can only apologize which is odd really because i think most places close at 11 p.m anyway so i'm not sure where she closed she went somewhere else after 11 maybe that's where the rules are broken again um the bbc has no response for, uh, this is miss burley um has notable absent from our daily talk show daily breakfast show on sky news tuesday morning um sarah houston presented the show instead reports suggest miss burley has joined by a group of colleagues to mark her birthday in london which is under tier two restrictions and so far her colleagues haven't stepped forward these flipping scumbag um li lily what's her spineless friends of hers who are also at this gathering have not stepped forward and confessed and i think one of them is might be beth rigby i'm not snitching because what people are saying on twitter so relax but i think one of those people might be beth. and it's the case they have to come out and say something especially if you remember how beth rigby was going hard hard she was going hard at the likes of um what's his face um dominic cummings and stuff do you remember that 
she was absolutely tearing into him uh, you know um quite rightly so but she has to hold this l as well you can't just let k burley just get you know get hit with this on her own it continues this means a lot of people are allowed to socialize this means that people are not allowed to socialize with anyone from outside their household or support bubbles indoors either in a private home or a public place which you know she obviously break the rules that way some venues have outdoor seating and you can able to sit with a group um up to six people outside including a garden or a public space she said continues directing to reports the spokesman for sky told bbc we place the highest importance on complying with the government guidelines on the covid and we expect all our people to comply too and um, we were disappointed to learn of a small number of sky news staff may have engaged activity breached these guidelines although this took place at a social event in a personal time we expect all our people to follow the rules he added that an internal process is underway to review the conduct of the people involved okay cool so they're definitely going to get everyone's going to get called out that way miss burley was has grilled politicians throughout the pandemic and and it makes you question Michael Gove about Dominic Cummings' controversial lockdown trip to the uh, Barnard Castle. Of course, you guys know anyway, he went on the drive to test his eyes. And he, her, her apology comes after pop star Rita Ora said sorry for breaching COVID-19 restrictions after failing to self-isolate after a trip to Egypt. That Rita Ora story was weird as well. Who in Egypt with money is paying Rita Ora to fly private to come and sing in your living room? Like really, of all the pop, because imagine, this is an odd time, right? I think it's one of the strangest times because it's also it's one of the strangest times because I guess it kind of disproportionately affects people that are poor, but it also disproportionately benefits people that are rich. Because I'm thinking, if you've got money, right, and you want to see somebody perform live in your bedroom, on your living room, whatever, in your flipping, you know, garden that looks like the size of Wembley, this is one of your opportune moments to do so because everyone's at home and broke. For the most part right most entertainers don't have a revenue stream that is of the level that it would be when they're touring and performing in general right when the world is open so if that's the case you have the ability to potentially book whoever you want for quite possibly a cut rate price right everyone will probably be willing to take half of whatever they charge when they do an appearance just because it's cash in the bank especially if you're willing to pay for their travel and their stay all that good stuff right it's still money in the bank from all these months of being able to of not being able to earn a penny so to go through your rolodex of pop stars of people you want to come and sing again i'm not a fan of all these pop random corny people that make music that they only play on speakers and top shop but in, if you get through all those people and to select rita aura as your one to come and play your living room you must be a big fan of rita aura because she is terrible like again a great girl i think i've met her maybe a couple times um back in the day for some styling thing fashion stuff whatever back in the day um she seems like a nice person she seems to have like a good set of friends around her which is shouldn't mean anything but for most pop stars if you ever met them they seem to have like a really weird group of hanger-ons around there but she seems to have good people around her good head on her shoulders all that good stuff but musically god damn mate i'd rather legitimately run into a wall with a spoon in my hand let that jam inside my eyeball twist it and then you know trip myself over i have my face bang onto the cement roll over into a pile of dog crap then listen to her music it's terrible so imagine doing that during the covid times so again maybe unless you're getting her to sing rihanna covers or something which would be a par imagine if that you're getting booked to play in the living room of some you know egyptian billionaire right and then he's getting you to do covers of stuff that he likes from other people that aren't you like yikes but anyway regardless um big up uh <laughs> everyone for i guess what i wonder if k belly knew she was going to get caught out and she got in front of it i'm sure she did right i'm sure somebody from the daily mail or some pap got her sneaking into another restaurant um or maybe disgustingly got her taking the to someone you know one of those trash paparazzis maybe snapped a picture of her in a loo or something like um, i wonder because she came out very quickly and kind of put um the kaput on that story but hey um there we go k burley is um i guess on leave at the moment it looks like she's not going to come back until maybe next year so i've heard um via the timeline according to a couple of insiders but again you know no love lost there in it if you call other people's out other people have to call you out it is what it is the game is the game but she should be fired. 